And welcome back to um, Let's Play Pikmin episode 24. So I know it, look, it looks like we're making great time. You know, we have double the parts that we have days, but the problem is the distant spring. It's kind of a nuisance. Oh, they're going after the Flint Beetle. Oh, there's two of them. You know what? I should just face the Mamuda and the, like, Jelly Brain. Looks like brambles are actually as strong as uh, basic red wall, um, rock walls. Hmm. Oh, we have. We should have just enough for both of them. Emphasis on should. Feel like this is not well thought out. Oh, it looks like the thing's just gonna slide off anyway, so. A bloody course. I mean, it doesn't matter. This is basically bonus, even though we're gonna be. I really should have waited, actually, now I think about it. Cutting a little closer, my friend. Uh, I found the positron generator by combining batteries with solar cells. This machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. I find those instant space signals will taste better heated up. Well, I got munched by Clamp Pearl. I think you can attack this with, like, reds. I 
I blame the fucking B button not working. Ain't that cool? We're like one short. Wait, what? Oh, I don't even have any other blue Pikmin. Yeah, I think blue Pikmin should get everything. Uh, well, red Pikmin will get one. Yeah, I should just wait. Because we're going to hit that one clan pearl with... Um... I'm surprised they actually stay so far away. Not generating this electricity is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shot. Now we're covered 9 out of 30 parts, we can find just 3 more. Arrows feel like, um, especially with how nice the timer is, I actually need like a couple of you. Yeah, sure, that's a couple, I guess. Is this like five or something? Only three. I'm way too cautious, but I'd rather be over because I mean, it's not like we're even really on a timer anymore. Just soon afterward, what is this, like 50? No, I doubt they're 50. They're probably like 20 or something. I guess we'll find out. Fuck, they're 50 each. And I think you can eventually, you know, that one um, clan pearl is gonna get. I, I, I don't even remember what the name of these things are. I'm sure, like, a lot of people who, you know, also play Pokemon, you know, Pokemon and Pikmin. Sounds similar, so it must be the same game, right? And here I thought the sequ um, sequel to Pikmin 1 was, uh... Was, uh, Pikmin Gold and Silver. It would've worked better if I went the other way around.
Sequel to Pokemon Red and Blue was uh, Pikmin 2. Yeah, rhymes too, so it's a little better. really aren't worth it, I think, in this game. I mean, the day's actually almost done anyway, so... Heh, <laughs> of course it's a... Of course it's a red leaf. I have seen that at times. Leave it out to pick an animal growing to a bud and then a flower. It appears that if I do not pick the blue and pick one's press, it's blue over time. Fascinating. A plant animal tree is surely unique in the natural world. Anyway, so, um, I wanted to see Impact Site. So day eight we have to go back, and then day nine we have to go back. Found flower book one to possess increased stiffness, and then went in a rush. I found pressing and holding A uh, when calling the flower book and so forth. So up and down, or you know, deep back can be fire and effective strategy. I also learned the new spots found going on days following fierce battles, or the resort sees being left behind.
Alright, wow, we're almost done with Force of Hope. Um, we have, yeah, we have, um... I don't know if we can necessarily... I forget how fucking, like, short this game is. Because we, we literally have, like, uh, three boss fights. No. One, uh, the Libra, and then three boss fights. That's what we got now. So we'll do, uh, deal with the Libra and... Although things are gonna respawn, but, um, what we're gonna want is probably, like, 20 elves. Rest some blues. takes one nectar, doesn't it? Better safe than sorry. Really? No, and it's in the belly of a snagret. Wait, couldn't I just... No, I th they thought I had. Really? Well, what'll happen is, um, it'll get built. Man, they are carrying our spoils in a million battle in one place with the loads. Man, path back to the onion. Onion, onion is blocked and faced with the things in your answer obstacle. The focus is unacceptable. I have to turn on what's blocking the way and do what I can to resolve the problem. No, you do need blues. Do you need blues? No, I don't. I don't even know. You can probably do it with yellows, but I'd rather not.
Yeah, the pellet palsy stems count as like an enemy. So we'll activate some music. I found my secretary. I thought it was a Libra. The, my son gave me this to me as a present. It brings uh, mine visions of my son back home on Planet Hakate. Oh, to be back there right now. Don't the, aren't the bridges like uh, deadly as well? Now I think about it. I'll take the remaining blues and go to the wall. Secretarius, this was good for my son. He must be very worried about me. I'll cover 10 out of 30 parts. If I can find just two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Really? How the hell did that even happen? Once you hit around 100 for every single type of Pikmin, minus uh, poor yellows. <laughs> then you pretty much... Um, just like stop carrying bodies back. I was gonna say you can get back through here. I'm gonna want to take. Uh, I'm gonna take like a full complement of reds. Don't do that. Are you ready to make these cute little beetles extinct? Because all of them are sure is ready. What the hell? Oh. Uh, we'll soak them back up later. Okay, mate. I don't really like my chances that much. I mean, here's the thing. Technically, uh, I think the armor... <sighs> armor cannon um, beetle larva. Or not larva. That's in the next game.
How? you I can do it fast enough. There we go. Oh, fuck off. We're not going to be able to get it. It's a Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while it goes well and lets out a lot of noise. Pay much attention to it, so it doesn't do me much good. I really should read the manual on one of these days. It detects radiation. That's not how a Geiger, Geiger counter sounds, by the way. Thank goodness the game is semi-smart enough to not have him be, like, stuck in an animation forever. And it's just a random blue over here. So what we're going to end up having to do, so this is going to take at least two days longer, probably a little more. Because I feel like I'm not doing as well as I could be. I mean, uh, because we're going to be finding the two uh, secret bosses this time. So I guess in a way it's good that I came back. See, next episode is pretty much only going to be uh, three bosses, which is going to be Armored, uh, Cannon Beetle, the Mamuda, and the Gulix. The kind of the noisy guy uh, is always letting off. These clicks and buzzes, it can be kind of annoying.
Because yeah, the reason it slows down a lot by the time you get to Distant Spring. Just because that's where they actually have you do puzzles. Like, you know, the, um... The impact site's mostly just for Pikmin gathering and all that stuff and like the tutorial. Force Hope is sort of like getting used to the whole idea. I mean, um... The Forest Naval is like semi... Puzzle, it's like half puzzle rich, half just exploration. I think, yeah, Forest Naval is more exploration and shortcuts, I feel like. And then, um, Distant Spring is all about the puzzles, and then the final area just takes two times. No one's care to bring back the onions, close observation, and Kate's, uh, taking notes of the onions, the same color results, and then release a larger number of Pikmin seeds. You sure about that? Found, uh, ways to go pick up my color. I can hold A. Okay, we get it. Jeez. I want to press B to swap it out, or I can press A and grab one for a moment. Proceed to dismiss them into light colored groups. How disappointing. Uh, that's gonna be for this episode. Of